Hello everyone, welcome to CS for All and today we are going to talk about a very important topic and that is how I landed an international offer at D. Sholak Zumbar. So I will be sharing with you my interview experience, my preparation strategy, how did I apply and at the very end of the video I will be talking about some bonus tips so definitely watch till the very end. So let's get started. So coming to when and how did I apply? So in the month of February, I saw a hiring post on LinkedIn from one of the former interns of Disha Hyderabad. So I would like to give a huge shout out to Ruchir Mehta. So after getting connected with Ruchi, I gave him a small introduction of myself and then I shared my resume with him and he actually liked it and referred me for the Hyderabad location. Now I will be talking a bit about the referral process at Disha. It's unlike Google where you get a link to apply for three different positions in a period of one month. So I will be talking about my Google interview experience in some other video. So let's talk about this process here. So you are getting referred internally by the current employee or past employee directly on the website and you get a specified time to complete your application process. So that is the entire Disha referral process. So after completing the application process for the Hyderabad location, I tried finding some other positions in different parts of the world. And I saw an opening for the Luxembourg location at Disha career page. So I applied to Disha Luxembourg. I never thought that I will be actually getting an interview opportunity from Disha Luxembourg. But you never know what will happen with you the very next moment. Boom. I did not get an online assignment link from Disha Hyderabad, but I did get an online assignment link from Disha Luxembourg office. Talking about my online assessment, it was conducted on the HackerRack platform. I got one day to complete my online assessment. Talking about the questions, honestly, I cannot reveal the exact questions because of the NDA. But I can say if you are applying for Disha, if you are aspiring to be a software engineer at Disha, you have to be a master of binary search and dynamic programming. So a quick tip from my side would be master your recursion and do a lot and a lot of dynamic programming problems. Because online assessment is the toughest part of the entire recruitment process. And Disha filters out almost 80 to 90 percent of the candidates in this particular round. So prepare the questions well and do a little bit of comparative programming at the end contest that will actually help you spend on your nerves while sitting for the online assessment at Disha. After nearly five or six days of the online assessment, I got a mail from the recruiter regarding my hire view round. So those who don't know about hire view round, so it is basically a pre-recorded interview where you are pushed through a series of behavioral questions and an algorithm or artificial intelligence assays you based on the behavioral competences and principles of teacher. So basically the artificial intelligence judges if you are smart enough, if you are looking here and there or if you are nervous or if you are confident while answering the questions and if you are culturally fit to join the organization. Then your recorded videos are being processed by real interviewers who look into each and every aspects of your video, every minor details and then decide whether to move you forward with the interview process. So if you want a video in detail regarding the entire hire view process, what kind of questions are asked and how to excel a hire view round, please comment down below. I will be definitely making a video on it. Talking about the final part of the interview, it was a super day. It was held on 27th of March from 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. Indian Standard Time. So it is basically a series of technical rounds and finally an HR round. So each interview rounds were like 45 minutes and it hardly took 20 to 30 minutes to answer the best questions and the follow-ups. So the questions were pretty straightforward and if you are regularly doing lead code art, you will definitely crack the interviews. Again, I cannot share the exact questions because of the non-disclosure agreement. But you know, Disha loves dynamic programming and you should always practice dynamic programming before your interviews at Disha because they will grind you. They will just literally grind you on DP. So be it a digit DP or SOS DP, that is a bit much DP. Practice all of them before your interviews. Take a general overview of all the algorithms you have known till now. 
and practice them again and again. So after both the technical rounds uh, ranging from 3 p.m. to around 4.30 p.m., uh, I waited for an hour for the HR round and then we had a talk with the hiring manager and uh, basically some behavioral questions were asked to assess my behavioral competences and uh, leadership principles, customer service centric questions. So if you want me to drop a detailed video regarding the behavioral rounds of all the companies, do tell in the comments, I will definitely do that. So Tisha focuses on four principles. First is the leadership principle. Second is if you are customer centric or not, Third is integrity and fourth is teamwork and collaboration. So whenever you are being asked behavioral questions, frame your solutions around these four behavioral competencies and you will definitely crack the behavioral rounds. So the entire super day got over by 6 p.m. in the evening and around 9 p.m. I got a call from my recruiter that they are happy to offer me the job and you know the compensation was uh, pretty much above my expectations but still I tried to negotiate and I will talk about that maybe after some months. So talking about my preparation strategy, so many of you might know that I was a product intern at Adobe. I had also worked as a software engineer intern at American Express and uh, Reliance Geo. So back in those days, I used to do a lot of DSA, a lot of competitive programming. But uh, after I ended my product internship at Adobe, I was completely off track. I was busy building communities, uh, teaching my college juniors, and I did not practice a lot on a lot of DSA. I did not give mock interviews. I was not interview ready after th that time. So in the month of September 2021, Amazon came into college for on-campus internship hiring and I miserably failed at those interviews because of my lack of mock interviews. You know, I got panicked when I actually saw those questions during the interviews. And then I decided that I have to get back on track. And finally this year when I got the interview call from Apple, I got two weeks before the interviews and I practiced a lot, a lot of questions. And I practically implemented all the theoretical algorithms which I had known but never used before. I also tried to learn new algorithms. I pretty much went in the code discuss section and saw the current standard of questions being asked in all these companies. And you know, that actually helped me to get back in track. So those two weeks actually helped me do a lot, a lot of things and also helped me crack a job at D Shop Luxembourg. So if you are a fresher and want to get a job at all these big companies and get international offers, you should be practicing a lot of DSA questions. You should give a lot of mock interviews because mock interviews, you know, it helps you boost your confidence, helps you boost your technical knowledge and also your communication skills. And also participate in coding contests like Google Kickstart, Facebook Hacker Club, ACM ICPC. So never try to overdo things and do not compare your journey with others. No one is perfect, no one has ever been perfect. You have to frame your journey. So list down all the things you need to do. Learn through that list, follow documentations instead of video solutions because documentations actually help you train your brain. So that's it for today's video. If you had any doubts or want to ask something about the entire interview process, you can write down in the comments and we will be starting again with the competitive programming series. So stay tuned for that and if you like the video, please hit the like button and consider subscribing to the channel and sharing it with your friends. So see you guys in the very next video. Till then, stay happy, stay healthy. Bye. It's my life.